Hey guys, I'm Serge and I'm Bonsai Lover. So today we'll be working on this ficus. We'll be remove our uh, metal wire. Also, we'll be put uh, our ficus in different metal part, uh, uh, in different ceramic part. So I have a ceramic part somewhere here and show you really quick. So first of all, we be just quickly remove our wire. I have pliers here. So first of all, what I will do, just cut them from the bottom all over straight in every single uh, like a maybe turn for this to be easy to remove and less hurt our plant. See, our ficus almost stay in the same place where it was located. His was stay pretty much like that uh, around around maybe a year. That's too long, guys. Don't don't let this stay that long. So they should be stay uh, around around maybe three four months up to five months. So in that uh, reason, for you can see right here in the bottom, you can already see that uh, you know after cutting you have a, like uh, wool, wool, right? They have wool already around it. So that's why you not should uh, stay longer than this time. And I have already curved ficus, and they be grow like that. So a little bit. Right now, I remove them from the sides and simply pick it up. Ooh, nice. So this part was really big for these vehicles. So I have a one more blue pad for my pretty vehicles. Oh, I got a more than that. I got a one, two more. So I got it. I was by. This in the Home Depot that was cost seven eighty eight or nine or nine bucks with the taxes. So for, for me, pretty much ceramic, uh, ceramic pot that was really, really worth it, you know. And then buy a lot of the same, and they look so amazing in the home. But uh, that was uh, uh, these plastic pots. This was my first pot I was uh, buying when I was start doing my. Uh, Pretty much journey with the plants, and exactly in the after maybe two three months, I will start my bonsai journey. So that's amazing. These pots and these plants, pretty much from my beginning of the journey, like two years already. In the, in the winter, that they they will be okay. So it's one and a half year right now. This plant in this pot. That's maybe too early, a little bit too repotted, but. That's okay with me. I'm thinking that'd be okay with the plants too. So let's go change the air pot. Uh, right away I put the mush in the bottom. Also I add some one second put this down. I add some gravel in the bottom. Uh, for a water can go through and they just place it on the hole like I'm a two three spoon and they cover maybe like a quarter inch maybe uh, not even that quarter inch maybe like uh, a little bit more like half inch or something like that so that's what I did uh, right now I've been to put some soil in the bottom too for this be you know way way too nothing for uh, i mean like way too low so i will place the same soil that was before there i have also some different soil but i'm thinking this will be okay and those grow 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 nicely maybe mix more uh more you know what 
Here, the fur light. I have, you see, somebody. Ah, oh, that's somebody. That's a kid, so it was stay around the around the grill and that might be that was damaged so I put it oh, a little bit too much and then get a two holes in there so something goes miss on the side of the bucket but that's okay so I mix my perlite a little bit old soil nice and more perlite Uh, for the art soil will be like much airy uh, and fluffy so I think you can check video about the uh, mineral soil in my channel <sighs> see that's what I tried to do nothing crazy let me just try to move them in the middle never mind fuck it that's gonna be higher let's go place them maybe take this, some roots in the top you know to make uh on the body of the tree so that's i hope so that's in my future bonsais so in the body it looks you know cool Oh. Oh. Okay, that's much better. Okay, that's how they look like. You gotta see one. Well, maybe I'll be cutting these roots from there. I know nobody be too, too high. But what I can do. Also, we'll add some, some pores in the top and acadam. Give it to the uh, soil also some minerals, different kind of minerals, and nice look in the top. So a little bit mixing with the soil, pushing everything down. Our purse, it's like around 30 bucks per bag. Be like five pounds, be a little bit more. And Akadama, like 70 dollars per big bag. So this pretty stuff, it's pretty expensive, guys. Like regular soil, same bag costs like seven dollars. So you can feel the difference between Akadama purse and Regular, regular soil, guys. Yeah, um, that's the reason why, uh, like, a bonsai masters use that uh, for the root system. Root system much better grows in a, a type of materials like akadama, pearls. Uh, I also use uh, charcoal. I like a charcoal a piece of charcoal. Um, also sand a little bit of sand you can use it a reason uh, why the way they do that uh, you can see this small branch you can see a lot of small roots so these small roots coming from sand or kind of uh, stuff like like rocks or sharp stuff so when the root going to touch any surface uh, if that's a soil, they going through uh, with the one big root and not splitting. When the root uh, like growing, growing, growing and touch the uh, sharp thing, they start shooting two roots to going around that. So right away they have uh, two roots coming through. 
So every single time when the root is growing, they shoot to root to root to roots, and they have a whole system of the roots pinching more air, more water, and more stable. So, and when they are just a one thin root, and your soil it's you know so soft, like we have you know our farmers making like so 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 don't have to be so soft you know and i hear a lot of different uh, theories so uh what farm is making even less caring about their loans they grow much better their vegetables than a regular one also the theory of the um uh, i'm thinking hill growing of the vegetables so more or less need vegetables and fruits going uh, in the top of the hill and more needed vegetables and fruits going in the bottom of the hills and they gather small like a holes so everything takes that that needs and they give it to each other the minerals so they grow together much better than they grow separately and that's the idea so oh let's go back to our ficus guys sorry this takes me uh, so far and sides, but that's what we have to go through guys to know much better about our plants how to care about them and how to love them more, you know So I'm putting my couple of rocks back. I'm thinking this be Which side? I'm thinking this be front, right? Uh, okay, I can make this front of the my bonsai future bonsai so maybe one day uh, I can cut at this and maybe this day start short new branches on the side and we can remove cut at the top, cut at the top and give me idea about this one if I can also cut the tops, cut the tops uh, maybe remove leaves and they start shooting maybe you know new new branches on the side maybe you know after a little bit of time for our new root system start growing and also when you rip out in your um, uh, pretty much everything don't put it right away um, mm, fertilizers so they kill and fire the root system so I have a lot of plants that and I, I know guys you also wanna care about your plants give it that food right away before they grow but you just kill them like I did with the mine, so be careful with that. Thank you for watching, and see you guys in the next video, guys. Okay, and right now we have a memorial weekend, so have a great weekend, guys. Bye bye. <laughs>